Well, now that the long and bitter crab dispute has ended, processing plants in the province are roaring back to life. And that's welcome news for the thousands of shore-based workers linked to the crab harvest. Here now, Sherry Roberts was granted rare access this week to a massive seafood processing plant in Conception Bay and has this feature report. It's not often you see a broad smile on a person's face when they're dealing with a mountain of laundry. But Maxine Hatch just might be the exception. Hatch is part of the cleanup team at the Quinlan Brothers Limited Seafood Plant in Bay de Verde. She practically ran back to her job when a deal was reached last Friday to end a six-week delay in the crab harvest. I'm absolutely overjoyed to be back to work. The Quinlans operate the world's largest crab plant in Bay de Verde. These are rare images from the processing line. The facility was reactivated on Monday. 140 people on the floor per shift. And right now, there are two shifts. Around the clock operations with thousands of freshly landed crab flowing through the production line and being shipped off to markets in the US and Japan. The way it should be, say these longtime plant workers. Everybody's making money, everybody's paying their bills, everybody is happier. When they said the tie up was over, well, I did a little happy dance. I was so glad. There are 22 crab plants like this in the province. But for weeks this spring, nothing but silence. This was the scene last week at the OCI plant in Triton. No crab because harvesters refused to untie and fish for the arbitrated price. So nothing to do for seasonal workers like these, but wait and worry faced with a mounting financial predicament. It was very stressful to be home, not working at all when you have bills to pay. I was wondering how I'm going to live, how I'm going to make any money, how I'm going to pay my bills, how I'm going to pay for my vehicle. But the plants are slowly coming back online as fishermen begin delivering their catch. It gives you a good feeling. Uh, second week of the, of the strike here, you know, not a soul in here, just a few of us were working all year around. It was, it was hard. When the harvest is in full swing, it supports 5,000 shore-based jobs like these. And all that worry, well, that's been replaced by relief. I actually love coming to work. What's the secret to success for this facility right here? Us. You got a happy family, and when you got a happy family, everybody gets along, everything runs smoother. But this Bay de Verde family is an international one. Companies like Quinlan's struggle to fill their ranks. So there are more than 100 temporary foreign workers from Thailand, a few more from the Philippines. For weeks, they waited as the dispute dragged on, receiving minimum pay, trying to fill their days in a foreign land, but loyal to the Quinlan's. For Thai people, we think that we, we came here by company. We should stay uh, with the company. Here, he's known as Crit, one of the few Thai workers who can speak English. During the shutdown, he counseled his fellow workers. Between at the time that we have not worked, I tell the Thai people, my friend, uh, try to economy about uh, keep money and uh, pay money for only the food. Despite the upheaval, Crit has fallen in love with this province, especially the clean, fresh air. If possible. <laughs> Actually, I would like to stay here for my life. Crit's focus now, however, is keeping up with all the crab that needs to be processed. When his hands are not sorting shells, he's likely to be offering up a Thai greeting of respect and gratitude. But a six-week delay in the start of this fishery could come with some consequences. The goal here is to produce 24 million pounds of snow crab this year. But I'm told that target could be a long shot. Terry Roberts, CBC News. Beta Verde.